It's truly incredible how much your space can really inspire your creativity. Filling and structuring your studio with elements that will make you feel happy, inspired, and motivated can help with the overall functionality and energy. I just moved into the studio as a full-time artist, and this is the place where I'll be spending my days, so it's quite important for me to structure it in a way where it can suit my overall productivity and creativity. In part one, I shared how I moved out of my old studio, which was in my bedroom, packed everything up, and welcomed new beginnings. I also shared how I planned and built the furniture for this new studio. As someone who fulfills the tasks on her own, I'm eager to have an office space and a painting space. It'll be my sweet escape. It's been a dream of mine to have a dedicated space for painting with tons of sunlight, and this magical sunroom could not have been better. So as promised, I'm gonna take you along the journey on how I organize this space with both the YouTube office space and the painting corner to make it feel cozy and functional at last. So where did we leave off? Oh yes, organizing. This is what things are looking like at the moment. The Sweet Escape sunroom is coming along nicely, but it's still quite empty. Things need to be rearranged and I have a little plan of creating a cozy corner, but more on that in just a bit. As with any organization, I start out by emptying everything out and just laying things in the area where they will be. In my previous space, I kept my oil paints in a closed compartment, but I'm quite excited to organize everything at hand beside the easel. A huge tip is to keep as much furniture as possible on wheels so that you can move it around, which is why I decided to designate the rolling cabinet from Ikea for my paints and other supplies. I physically sat down and thought, okay, if I'm ready to sit down and paint right now, what do I need right in front of me without running around or shuffling through things? The less time I spend searching, the more time I can spend painting. So with that, I placed my palette at the top. I really enjoy mixing my paints on a glass palette and this rubber mat will prevent things from slipping and moving around. Now on to the drawers themselves. Since these drawers are nice and wide, I thought they would work perfect for laying out the paints and also for things such as palettes and palette paper and other paper pads like canvas paper that I'll be using to paint. I also got some extra organizer inserts to keep things nice and tucked away. So I selected my paper pads that I wanted to use for painting and just organized them by size. After moving, I realized I have some that were tucked away and I never used, so I'm really excited to begin using them. To protect the cabinet surface from getting dirty, I laid down a plastic film and then began organizing my oil paints by color. painting, I love using acrylics as a base layer and then working with oils on top, so I was super happy to have it organized all together. I designated another drawer for small panels and the bottom drawer for things such as rags, little cups for mixing, and my black and white paints in one section. And I think it's looking pretty good so far. Golden hour in the studio is the most beautiful time of the day. As the sun was setting, the sky was glowing. I'm a big lover on bright colors of the sunset, and I can't believe I get to see this view every single day. After finishing things up functionally in the painting corner, there were some other errands I had to run, so I headed out to do some of that. I really felt like this sunroom needed some plans, and I coincidentally ended up finding some that I couldn't help but take back with me. It was getting pretty late, but I couldn't wait to continue tomorrow. I spent the next day searching for the perfect decorations and little puzzle pieces to complete the rooms. I've always loved these egg chairs, but I just couldn't decide which one to get. There was so many options for things. And I have to admit it was quite difficult making a decision because everything just looked so cute. 
but I had a specific vision for what I wanted and it was a lot of fun searching for those perfect puzzle pieces to complete the space. I ended up finding this drafting chair on wheels and it adjusts really high and low which is exactly what I was looking for and when I sat down I knew it was the one. I went shopping with my mom who's the best shopping buddy and she found this incredible little table. She knows I've been loving florals and flowers. And speaking of flowers, I also put on a new phone case and it's from Pila who is also the kind sponsors of today's video. I use my phone to film as you know and it comes with me everywhere. Pretty much everyone in my family knows that I love phone cases and clearly now flowers as well. I'm so excited to be working with Pila once more because they make their phone cases out of plants and this means that they're compostable. They're also B Corp certified and members of 1% for the planet, which is incredible. And I think the best part of the case, besides the fact that it's super soft, you can compost the case at home or you can send it back to Pila for them to compost or recycle for you. I truly am in love with this phone case and Pila as well. Pila was so kind to offer a discount code for us, which is Jess. First 50 subscribers will get 40% off your purchase at Pila. And after that, you can still get 25% off your purchase, which is amazing. If you're into waste-free stuff and love phone cases just like I do, this just may be the perfect option for you. Thanks, Pila. I love finding new incredibly functional additions and can't wait to arrange them back in the studio. Everything here is looking pretty much set, but now it's time to take care of this other side of the corner of the room that I really want to be nice and cozy. So let's begin. Quite sure if it's just me but the feeling of creating this cozy corner and making all the little elements i picked up at the store work was just a feeling i cannot describe time moves very quickly and it's really easy to be blinded by the moment i kept wanting to finish everything however i took a few minutes to just sit down and be grateful for this very very moment i'm reminding myself to truly stay present and also give myself credit for how far i've come and include a little bit of dancing in the mix it really all still feels so surreal, and change is definitely not easy and takes time to adjust to, but I'm welcoming new beginnings with an open heart. The rain was coming on and off, and as nighttime was approaching, I had one little detail left to add to the space.
As artists and creatives, we truly feel things differently. And sometimes the best way to communicate our feelings is through getting creative. Whether it's painting, singing, writing, or dancing, I find that art is a form of expression. And after seeing that incredible sunset, and also basically finishing up the space, I couldn't help but get straight to painting. This was a photo I took from Sedona. I love the bright color palette, and here's a little work in progress of how it's looking so far. Throughout the days, I was also able to unpack all the decorations and slowly begin hanging some paintings from the previous studio. I also ordered a corkboard that will sit beside my work desk. It suits multiple functionalities as I love to change things that I put up on the wall. So after collecting these vintage little postcards, I was ecstatic to hang up symbolical things to me. I spent time picking out a few that I'd like to go up and the rest I left blank to fill up over time. And check out this clock that I found. As soon as I saw it, I thought it looked just like a palette. And since it's technically like a wooden panel, I thought of painting to make it look like a palette. But for now, I hung it up as is. And maybe we'll revisit that idea later. One of my favorite parts is decorating and hanging things up. But I also find it the hardest for myself to decide where things will go. So for now, I'm giving myself a bit more time to think. I also wanted to refresh some of the pictures that are in the frames. This was a sketch from Italy, but now I decided to change it to my yogi turtles. You may remember it from my positive prompt series. They just truly make me happy, so I put that one in. And by the desk where I'll be doing all my sketchbook work, I hung up little smaller frames and more recent postcards from my patrons. I have a tier where I send happy mail, so if you're looking to collect little postcards or hang some up on your wall, you can check out that tier. I also put all of my supplies right on the desk. I thought this would be the best option so that I can just sit down and begin. I still have some organized in drawers, but that's for another video. But my main objective was to put my most used supplies on the desk. And then I did some sketching and painting to see how the functionality of it works. I'm sure I'll need minor adjustments, but so far so good. Welcoming some new babies to the studio. I've wanted a snake plant for so long, and I think this one is just so beautiful. I don't know if it's gonna stand here yet. I love the way this wall is coming together, and it's gonna be so cool for when I film in front of this table, but I think I'll put them here for now. And, oh, let me show you the other little plant I got. I have no idea what it is, but I am suddenly in love with plants more than I ever was. I love these little leaves and it's called the raindrop. It's interesting to see what you start to like as time goes on, but I really had to stop myself when I was at the store. I just wanted to take them all with me. Don't be surprised if every video you'll see me getting another plant. But I've been super inspired by the tropics and these colors and will definitely need to express that inspiration in a painting soon. So I got a few things and got this little mirror, it's packaged up, I'm gonna have to hang it up, but I was thinking it could go right here and it kind of opens up the room a little bit and I can see myself when filming and setting things up. So this is where it'll go. So hopefully I can get some help hanging it up, but things are coming together. As the art space is coming together, there's one little area that I need to take care of as well. 
Here's my desk setup currently, and although it's functional, I feel like it needs a little bit of color. I'd love to do a bit more cable management, so let's do this space makeover too. And you know the drill, let's clear off the space and transform it a bit. To match the natural wood theme going on in the room, I received a special package from Grove Made. Thank you so much for sending these over. I'm going to be replacing my desktop stand with this longer, beautifully made desk shelf system by Grove Made. It truly gives the control of clutter and a place for absolutely everything you need on your desk, all while being tucked away. I also added their wool desk pad and this leather mouse pad with a pen holder which is super super useful because I'm constantly searching for a pen in a cup. But now my pencil or pen is going to be at arm's reach. Inside the desk shelf itself is this pull out desk tray and here are my essential little tabs and other colorful pencils that I'll need to use and my favorite part that it's tucked away yet still accessible. On the bottom compartment, I store my tablet and my iPad since I use that as a second monitor at times. My thermal label printer fit perfectly right under that little ledge and my scale for measuring packages is put right next to it. And of course, another addition, a little desk plant. It makes me so happy to have all of these little elements and puzzle pieces finally come together and I can have all of the little pictures and elements that truly make me happy and personally make me feel productive and inspired. So it was time to revamp the desk workspace which I do all my editing on, emails, going through research, everything gets done here and Grove Made really hooked it up. I am so in love with this desk setup that I, I literally cannot handle it. Their slogan is actually build your dream workspace so you can get your best work done. And I think that's literally the perfect slogan. I think that this longer desktop stand makes everything feel elongated and it kind of like opens up the table. Everything is tucked away so nothing sticks out, there's no clutter, which is to make everything super functional, to make sure everything is at hand, to make sure that I'm just able to sit, film, or sit and paint, or sit and sketch and just not worry about any crazy setup or reaching for things. I'm really glad that I got to finish the makeover, sort of. Of course, it's a work in progress and things are going to come together slowly, but uh, you really don't know the functionality until you try. So I'm going to work in the space a bit and here and there make little alterations to what will work best. <sighs> Just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I will be having different updates for you guys, different little additions to the studios in the next videos. So subscribe to the channel. Shout out to my Patreons. You guys are the best. I can't wait for our live session this weekend. Thank you so much, Grove Made. You really made my dream workspace setup and desk setup come true. It's been a really long month of finally settling in and getting everything ready to go and I'm super excited to begin creating and seeing the creativity that's going to flourish in this new space. I do have a series I'm planning for next month. So the first person to guess the topic in the comments will win one of my prints. Hmm, that's a good one. Yeah, I can't wait to share this new series with you. Follow along. I really appreciate your support. There's so much going on lately, but Cheers to the new space, to the new studio, to the new painting room, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.